<laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, I've been watching this dumbass King and Ashura show. Pretty entertaining, just kind of like mind-numbing, violent anime, you know, but uh, this thing cracked me up because, you know, I'm a fan of Left Way, which comes out of Myanmar, and that particular character doing like the exaggerated, crazy, you know, pro-wrestling looking hit, but uh, it's from Myanmar or Burma, whatever you want to call it, uh, Burmese fighter. Uh, these guys, you know, are known for left way, uh, which is essentially like the precursor to Muay Thai and in the, you know, traditional left way fighting you use, you know, just like Muay Thai, punches, kicks, you know, elbows and knees, but you also use the hid. So one great way to use your freaking dome as a weapon that I think you know, the general population is not aware of. So they kind of hook it. You know, you can kind of use your neck almost like a whip. Don't give yourself whiplash. <laughs> but that's the idea. If you ever see giraffes fighting, which I will post in a minute <laughs> after I show a few techniques, <laughs> they kind of whip their necks around, okay? They kind of like throw their necks like a freaking hook punch or something. <laughs> So let's say in your fighting stance, obviously for your close range, okay? What you're gonna do is really get your whole body into it, step into it and everything. And just boom, whip your freaking head into the target, okay? And if you're very close, say you're like a clinch or something, some kind of, you know, clinchy upper body grappling, pretty much shoulder to shoulder, chest to chest kind of position, or hit to hit kind of position. You can even do kind of a short range hook hit butt. Okay, let's say the guy's hit is like right here. You know, you can kind of obviously do a lot of hit wrestling. And then when you want to make a really nice hit butt attack, just disengage really quick. Boom! And just go into it. Okay, and again, you kind of just, you know, let's say you guys hit this right here, just kind of whip into it. Bam! Use your whole body. <sighs> Feel my obliques. Hadn't done that in a minute. Okay, that's one type of hit, but kind of like a hook, a hooking hit, but going outside to inside attacking, you know, laterally. Now, it's more of like a straightforward attack with the old dome. You're not gonna. <laughs> like freaking the, the anime. <laughs> you don't have to retract at all, really. <clears throat> well, you do need to retract and contract is your neck. Okay, make sure you have all your neck very contracted, chin packed, and duck the head for this one. It's more of like, a, you know, instead of like giraffe kind of attack, this is like a more like a bull or a ram straightforward attack. Okay, so again, you very close range. Make sure you pack the shin before you make your impact. And <clears throat> just go right into it. Again, try to step into it, put your whole body into it. Use some powerful neck, you know, flexion here, flexion here, and just plow into them. Pretty much this part of your dome, okay, somewhere around the scalp line. You know, depending how on how receded your hairline is, <laughs> but some you know, about here. Okay, the whip one about here. This one about right in the middle, the top of the dome there. Okay, around the hairline. Let's say. So again, yeah, let's we'll see the guy's hips right here. <clears throat> okay, that's it. There's no, none of this. None of this shit. <laughs> you don't want to telegraph this. You know, just right here. What's up? Mm, you know. <laughs> so let's watch some professionals do this from the animal kingdom and also the human kingdom, which is also the animal kingdom in a way. We're animals, right? <laughs> let's check out the non-human animals first. You ever seen giraffes fight? They whip their necks around. They use the hardest part of their body, their skull. Almost like a almost like a ball and chain kind of weapon. 
taking advantage of those long, powerful necks and just whipping the crap out of each other. These guys are the freaking, probably the most powerful hit butters in the freaking animal kingdom. Pound for pound, anyway. True kung fu masters. <laughs> you know, if you want to see how to fight, look at animals, man. It's how kung fu was created, a lot of it, anyway. Watching nature and being like, damn, they knew what they were doing instinctively. Oh, knock that one out. Bam. Oh, we get the replay. Ooh. Got him. <laughs> and here's another one from the Animal Kingdom. Bam! The Ram. Okay, this is more of the uh, straightforward Hidba technique. You'll notice they charge in with their entire body weight. Here's a slow motion replay. Check out the one on the left here. Ducks the head last second. Boom! Nails this guy. Check it out again. This is exactly... Bam! The same technique as humans. Speaking of humans, let's watch the human masters of this technique. Guy on the left is... Uh, T-Ton... No, Ton T Mong. Ton T Mong. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> and he's finding a Muay Thai artist. But he is a left way fighter and he's about to hit butt the ever living hell out of this guy with both of those techniques the giraffe like technique, uh, whipping the hit around like a hook punch, and also the ram technique, uh, charging straight forward, hit down. There's one of them. Let's check out the others. There's more of the whip. That kind of hook, whip, boom, there it is again. And here comes a close range one. Look at that. Guy's just not giving a shit. There's another good whip, kind of hook like. Headbutt again, giraffe shit. Here comes the ram again. Bam! Got him. Watch that again. Ducks the head. Boom! Boom! Bam! Game over. So those are probably the two uh, most efficient hit butt techniques. Um, again, you know, good luck training those. <laughs> you can always shadow box with them uh, and just do some strength training for your neck, you know, just for self-defense purposes. Always good to have a strong neck, you know what I mean? Protects your skull, protects your brain from bouncing around your skull, concussing yourself. Um, and the skull is a very, very hard thing to, a uh, very hard weapon to hit with. It's very thick, you know. We've evolved to have thick skulls to protect our brains, you know, one of the most important, probably the most important organ of the body, right? Without a brain, ain't nothing working. You're dead. <laughs> Which is probably why you shouldn't hit about in the first place, obviously, but just a little, a little lesson for y'all. Anyway, take it as you will. Peace.